Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 19, 2024, Ural Vagonzavod, Russia's leading manufacturer of main battle tanks, unveiled its augmented production capabilities of T-80BVM main battle tanks, MBTs, during a high-profile visit by Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. The showcase, amidst the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, marked a significant doubling in tank production since the onset of the war. A newly released video on Eurovagonzavod's social network depicted an impressive array of T-80BVM tanks, showcasing the company's heightened production efforts. The T-80BVM, extensively utilized by Russian forces in Ukraine, has undergone substantial upgrades tailored to meet the demands of modern warfare. These enhancements include advanced armor and cop cage armor, strategically designed to bolster defense against aerial threats, particularly drones and loitering munitions. Minister Shoigu emphasized the imperative of furnishing additional protective systems for tanks deployed in the Ukrainian theater, signaling a strategic pivot towards fortifying the survivability and efficacy of armored units in conflict zones. The T-80BVM stands as an upgraded iteration of the T-80BV, a Soviet-era main battle tank, re-engineered to augment its combat prowess in contemporary warfare scenarios, notably operations in Ukraine. Enhancements comprise improved armor, integration of reactive armor tiles, a more potent engine, and advanced fire control systems, bolstering accuracy and lethality. Armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun capable of firing various munitions, including guided missiles, the T-80BVM also boasts a new digital navigation system and enhanced thermal imaging for enhanced target acquisition across diverse conditions. Amidst the Ukrainian conflict, Russian forces have extensively deployed the T-80BVM, leveraging its upgraded features to withstand prevalent threats such as anti-tank guided missiles and drones. The introduction of cop cage armor specifically fortifies the tank's defenses against aerial assaults, rendering it more resilient against the mounting utilization of UAVs and loitering munitions in the conflict theater. The utilization of these tanks underscores the trend of retrofitting older Soviet-era equipment to address contemporary battlefield exigencies and adversities. Furthermore, Russia has witnessed a substantial escalation in military production and capabilities since the onset of the conflict in Ukraine. The annual delivery of approximately 1,500 tanks and 3,000 armored fighting vehicles underscores the nation's heightened militarization efforts. Expansion of production lines at existing facilities and reactivation of dormant plants have been pivotal in meeting the demands of the ongoing conflict, alongside notable rises in missile production, exemplified by the increased manufacturing of Iskander 9M723 ballistic missiles. However, concerns persist regarding the quality and sustainability of Russian military equipment, with a considerable portion comprising refurbished units from existing war stocks. Additionally, sanctions impeding component supplies, particularly from Western sources, pose challenges for advanced weaponry procurement, albeit circumvention attempts through alternative sourcing from nations like China. This escalated production mirrors Russia's broader strategy to assert and potentially expand its military influence and territorial ambitions in the region, thereby engendering significant implications for Eastern European dynamics and stability. That's all for now, see you later.